Now in question 11, we're given that dy dx, which is the gradient of, of any point on a curve C, is given by all of x squared plus 3 squared over x squared. And x can't be equal to 0, just in case you're wondering why. You cannot divide any value by 0 because you'll get an undefined value. So that's why they've written that there. And in part A, we're asked to show that dy dx is equal to x squared plus 6 plus 9x to the minus 2. So how do we do that? Well, first of all, we'll just write down what dy dx is equal to, which is x squared plus 3 all squared over x squared. And the next stage is to expand out the top. Some of you most probably should be able to do this straight off, okay, but what I'll do is I'll put it down in its basic form, which is x squared plus 3 times another x squared plus 3, and that's all over x squared. So expanding the top out, we get x squared times x squared, which is x to the power 4. Then you have x squared times the plus 3, which is 3x squared. And then you have 3 times that x squared, which is another 3x squared. And finally, 3 times 3, which is 9. And that is all divided by x squared. Cleaning this up, you get on the top x to the 4, and you have a couple of 3x squared, so that's 6x squared, plus the 9 on the end, all divided by x squared. Now you have three terms on the top divided by a single term on the bottom and that is the same as dividing each term by the denominator here x squared. So that's x to the 4 over x squared plus 6x squared over x squared plus 9 over x squared. And if you divide each of those values then by x squared you'll find you get x to the 4 over x squared, which is x squared. 6x squared divided by x squared, the x squareds cancel, just leaving me with 6. And 9 over x squared is the same as 9x to the power minus 2. So that gives us what we had to prove. Some of you, though, might decide to do this in a different way, and that is when you get to this stage here, you can bring the x squared up and write it as x to the power minus 2. So you could say that you've got x to the power minus 2 multiplied by everything on the top, which would be x to the 4 plus 6x squared plus 9. And if you expand this out, you'd have x to the minus 2 times x to the 4. Add the powers, remember, so that becomes x to the power 2. Then you have x to the minus 2 times 6x squared. At the powers, you have 6x to the power 0. Anything to the power 0 is 1, so you're just left with 6 times 1, in other words, 6. And finally, x to the minus 2 times the plus 9 gives 9x to the minus 2. So either method results in the same answer. Okay, moving on now to part B. Okay, in part B, we're asked to find the equation of the curve C, giving you our answer in the form y equals f of x. Now we already know that dy dx then from part A is equal to x squared plus 6 plus 9x to the minus 2. So if we're to get y, okay, what we need to do is to do the inverse of differentiation, which is to integrate this expression here with respect to x. So therefore, y is equal to the integral then of x squared plus 6 plus 9x to the minus 2. Don't forget to write dx on the end, because you're integrating respect to x, and also don't forget to put this in brackets because you've got more than one term through here. Okay, so in the usual way, when you have to integrate anything like this, you just add 
1 to the power and divide by the new power. So adding 1 to the power of x, adding 1 to the 2 there becomes x cubed, divide by the new power, that becomes 3. When you have a constant, it's the same as just adding an x on the end. And this one, add 1 to the power, so adding 1 to the power of minus 2 is minus 1, and divide by the new power. Don't forget to put the constant of integration on the end. I'm going to use the letter C there. You might use K or something else. Okay, So we've got the constant of integration. Tidy this up. The first term I'm leaving as x cubed over 3, or third x cubed if you like. The second term, 6x, is fine. But when you get down to this one, plus divided by minus is minus overall. And 9x to the minus 1 is the same as 9 times 1 over x. Or in other words, 9 over x. And then you've got the plus c. So all I need to do now is work out my constant of integration. And I know that the curve passes through the point 320. So I can say that when x equals 3, y is equal to 20. Substitute this into the equation up here, okay, and I would therefore have that 20 is equal to 3 cubed over 3, that's going to come to 9. Then I've got 6 times 3, so that's 18. 9 divided by 3, that's 3, plus the constant c. Working this out, we now have 20 equals 9 out of 18 is 27, take away 3, that's 24. So 20 equals 24 plus C. Taking 24 from both sides gives me C equals minus 4. So I'm nearly there now. All I need to do is substitute my constant C back into the equation up here, and that will give me that the curve has the equation Y equals x cubed over 3 plus 6x minus 9 over x and then not rushing in and writing plus negative 4 I've just got negative 4 and so that gives me my equation in the form y equals some function of x and that brings us to the end of question 11